All right, the time is now 5.39. Alex, these showers woke me up this morning. Oh, when yeah. did we expect for them to be gone? Yeah, and fortunately, they're going to last through a majority of the day today in terms of being scattered in nature, but it is possible by later on this afternoon we could see the sun in parts of central Georgia. But man, is it coming down in Dublin right now, looking live over downtown. Current temperature there at 52 with the rain continuing. Light wind out of the east at about 5 miles an hour. Across the area, the temperatures, they are fairly temperate for this time of year. 51 in Macon as well as in Warner Robins, 50 in Eastman. But what's interesting here is that you can see a very clear boundary. See how the arrows are coming together like that? When we flip this over to the radar picture, that is where the heaviest rainfall is right now. So from Johnson County to Lawrence County, back through Bleckley, Southern Houston, into Northern Dooley County, that's where the heaviest rainfall is, but it's still continuing light in nature in other spots, say across parts of Crawford County, Northern Twigs County, over towards Milledgeville, Sandersville, and parts of Hancock County. So let's go through the details here. We've dried out here in the past few minutes, parts of Jasper in Putnam County, but we're not done for the day down towards Jones and Baldwin County. Much of the same down to the south. Again, this is where the heaviest stuff is Johnson County right now it's over towards Trutland County and now getting into parts of northern Wheeler Montgomery counties and then back closer to Interstate 75 over towards the Perry area again coming down at a pretty good clip right now and then over into Macon County it gets a little lighter, but there is still more rain back along the Alabama state line and into the state of Alabama. That's going to continue to pull towards central Georgia through the morning hours before we get the scattered in nature rain later on this afternoon, but the leading edge of it already off the Atlantic coast. It rolled off here over the past few hours, so a thing the whole system is moving at a pretty good clip here on this Monday morning. Let's stop map out the details here on future view again scattered in nature. Here we are at 9 a.m. across central Georgia and then into the day today. We're still going to be hanging on to the showers. This is the noon hour here, but with overcast skies across the area. Once we get further into the afternoon, this is when we get some breaks in the clouds and we could mix in some sun. If that's able to happen, then we will get our temperatures a few degrees warmer. I've got a high right around 63, but then into the night tonight, we will see the clouds build back in with the potential for more showers tomorrow across central Georgia. Now tomorrow's showers are going to come later in the day. I'm thinking during the afternoon hours, not everybody's going to see rainfall, but it is possible to see it across the area. And then a few more showers through the overnight into Wednesday morning. And then once we get into the Thursday or so, that's when our next rainmaker is going to make its way into central Georgia. So here we are Wednesday at 5 p.m. This is the next rainmaker arriving. This is going to be a cold front of sorts, but it's not going to be packing a storm threat with it. I'm not thinking. And then once we get into the overnight hours, the bulk of it moves through the area, clearing out for Friday afternoon and evening across central Georgia. So we will be starting February on a wet note officially kicks off on Thursday a 70% chance to rain through the remainder of the day today and then it's right back to 70% for Thursday and for Friday again that is going to come later in the day Thursday and then Friday morning across the area the temperature is fairly warm for this time of year as well average high is 60 degrees now as speaking of January coming to a close it is no secret that it has been a very wet month for us here in central Georgia so far with yesterday's climate report now added in we picked up 7.44 inches of rain that puts us up nearly three and a half inches for where we should be on any j given January 30th. And then, of course, we're obviously adding to that today, so we'll see how the numbers map out tomorrow. When all is said and done, I do think this is going to be in the top 10 wettest Januaries on record here in central Georgia. Out the door today, look for temperatures to get close to 60. I've actually got a high temperature of 63 later on today. That's going to be if we're able to get the sunshine around. But regardless, we should be back to 70 tomorrow and really warm. Again, above the average high of 60 through Groundhog Day. Watching to see what General Beauregard Lee says up in Jackson. I'm thinking he's not going to see his shadow because the sun will not be around for